Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today I am working on a MPU board from a Gottlieb System 80B game. This is Raven. And uh, this game had a battery on it. I pulled the battery off and uh, cleaned. It was just starting to leak a little bit, so there was a little bit of electrolyte that had gotten around here. I cleaned it all off, hit it with some um, vinegar, then cleaned it with some alcohol, let it dry for several days, put it in the machine, made sure that everything was working. So now I'm getting ready to mount a, uh, an, an alternate to the battery that was on the board. Um, before I do that, I'm going to use a trick here where I'm going to use this clear nail polish. And I'm going to, I clean the traces with a little piece of a scotch bright pad. I love these things and I'll cut little sl slivers of them and I'll kind of use it to kind of help clear away any anything that might have been left over. And I'll use just a little tiny little dab of clear nail polish. And this kind of seals the board. And I'll put this over some of these areas where I, I may have rubbed off something and I want to just kind of make sure that I protect it. So I'll put that over here and I'll also put some over these this area here and the reason I'm going to do this is I'm going to mount a memory capacitor on the board and I want to make sure that it doesn't short any of the uh, traces so I don't want, I want to make sure so I'm going to put a little bit of this over here I'm going to make sure that I don't get anything on the actual negative pad right there because I'm going to need to solder onto that. But I will put a little bit of this around here just to coat it so you can see. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, this, this sort of thing doesn't seem to get too close. Okay, so this is where the old battery was. And this is the negative terminal, and this is the positive terminal here. These two, uh, the battery is also connected to them just to kind of hold it in place. But all you need to do is worry about this and this. Now, there's a couple of different options when it comes to uh, dealing with this battery. You pull the battery off the board, and you can locate, you can do three different things or more. You could take a standard three uh, AA battery pack using alkaline batteries, and at a remote battery pack, but if you do that, you're going to want to put a blocking diode in here because this used a rechargeable battery and it will feed voltage back into the battery when the game is on to recharge it. You do not want to hook an, uh, a, a non-rechargeable battery to these terminals without putting a diode in there to, st to stop the voltage from going back into the battery. That can cause them to leak or maybe even explode. You don't want to do that. So if I was going to add that, I would add a diode in it. I've done videos on how to add the diodes in. Um, you could also add a lithium coin cell, like a CR2032, and you could mount that in here, and uh, like they use in computers to back up the CMOS settings. Um, I like to use these memory capacitors. This is a, a 1.5 farad, 5.5 volt Panasonic SuperCap. And... Uh, this will last a long, long, long time. When, once you feed power to it, it should keep the memory, the, the data in the memory for like a month. So um, I've never really had one of these go out, but then again, I, usually my games, once I set them up, they're, they're up, they're not stored for a long time. But this is a great thing to do. This is not going to leak and cause any damage as far as I know. I've never heard of any of these things that's happening with these memory caps. So I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to, I've got, little wires here that I've cut. I'm going to I'm going to solder them onto the memory cap. Let that dry, then solder them onto these terminals. And then I'm going to use the glue gun right there, which is right there, and I'm going to glue it, glue the memory cap right onto that. And uh, so stay tuned for more. This is a just a basic thing that you should probably do with every system 80 uh, board that has the battery on. You want to get that battery off, you want to make sure there's no damage, and you want to 
do do your memory cap, uh, regular battery pack with the diode, or CR232. So stay tuned for more. I will show you the work in the next video. Thanks for watching.